All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the women's 49 kilo A session from the 100th European Weightlifting Championships uh, in Tirana, Albania. Uh, and she missed it. I mean, it happens. Yeah, a little, little bit too strong on that one. Yeah. She has, you know, a few times in competition, not ended up with a snatch. Right, the inconsistency problem here may be a, may be an issue. This may this may come up. You know, mm -hmm. missing your opener when you're in the in the lead right. is definitely not a strong <laughs> strong position to be in. You know, maybe we should tell her that you know training before you compete the same day is not the <laughs> not the technique. Maybe if she'd not turned up to the gym early and done all those workouts, <laughs> I'd have a feeling it wasn't an abdominal problem there. No, I don't think so. But you, I mean, even in that lock, uh, that replay, you can see the lockout is strong, but. Um, she, you could even see her coach there giving her advice. Looked like she was just swinging it, used her hips too much, and, and launched that bar behind. Yeah. You know, one of the situations too where you come out and you're just really ready to go. You're strong, you have adrenaline, and suddenly, you know, that extra power just doesn't translate the same way with your technique. Right. And a little bit too much, one way or the other, and then you, you've got to miss. Yeah. She's gonna come back out now, and it would be surprising if she didn't eventually made this. I mean, she has snatched as much as 85 kilos. She did that at the Junior World Championships uh, 2021. She snatched over 80 kilos at her last three competitions. That's a good lift. Yeah. Sigh of relief there. Yeah. Yeah, she'll be, she'll be pleased. I mean, it's one of those competitions where when you are the favorite and everybody thinks that you should have a few kilos and everyone else, there's this extra added layer of pressure where it's not only yours to win, it's yours to lose. Yeah. And that's a horrible feeling to have where you know that you know it really comes down to what you're able to do and what you let yourself do. Very, very solid, just exceptional. So we have two lifts remaining. Annalena Lobachinska has her third attempt. She's going to go in at 80 kilos. And then no doubt Julia is going to take, you know, whether it's a kilo more, whether it's 81, whether she makes a, a more realistic jump, who knows. But she's going to do something that's going to put her into the lead or further into the lead. Well, so it looks like Julia is taking the 81, yep. going for the win here, the smart call. She looks focused. She's walking up very quickly to the platform. She's going to chalk up and then uh, and then come out for this. Skips the chalk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. You know, I Perhaps said it the other day. Like you know, no sometimes there's nothing more exciting than an upset. Yeah. Well, that 80, that 80 uh, was a great call, and, and the fact that her second attempt was successful really pushed uh, yeah. Imperio to, to take a number she couldn't make. Yeah, and absolutely. maybe maybe it's not the weight even as much as the pressure, right? Being put in a position where you know a certain lift means something, uh, you know. Yeah, It's absolutely. tough. It's challenging. Small errors, they, they add up. Yeah. We actually uh, were able to have a chat with Julia um, about some of her training. She says that the last few months have been extremely intense um training's been tough i mean we we've, we've spoken to a few of the italians recently to try and find out what it is that they're doing that's good and getting them so good i mean they really are arguably the country to beat in european weightlifting right now uh she said that they've been training as much as three workouts a day for a few weeks in a row which is i mean i i have done that for a couple of weeks at a time in fact i've done that for one two week period of my life and it was one <laughs> of the most hideous weeks of my life Max, you've certainly done that for quite a long time. For those I who did. don't know, Max trained sort of a Bulgarian style multiple times a day. You know better than anyone how difficult it is to train with that level of frequency to the intensity that the Italians train. Yeah, it's extremely taxing. It's it's uh, it can be a double-edged sword. You can have a situation where you're training so hard, putting up incredible results, but as you do more and more of that, you risk you know getting injured or you potentially risk 
you know, just, just putting yourself in a position where at the meet you can't be successful because you've exhausted yourself. Right. We yeah. now have three attempts remaining. Julian Imperio coming out, 92 kilo opener. Lowered her opener for the minimum to win. Right. And medal in the clean and jerk. It's very easy. Wow, so Just fast. Very, very strong. Oh, you know what? I think she needs to be a bit careful with letting the bar go there. She definitely let go above her shoulders. It's technically a no lift. We're going to have to see if the jury are uh, going to hold her accountable to that. So far, no movement from them, but we've seen that happen. Uh, most Olympics. notably, I think Kate Nye at the Olympics got called for that on her. I want to say it was on her second attempt snatch. She came back out and made the lift, but prevented her from going even heavier. Let's see it again. Amazing lockout. She lets go early, but yeah, her best in the clean jerk, 101 kilos. She has made 97 kilos before. That was at the European Championships last year, where she took fourth place. Wow. Okay, here we go. She's, she's going up, 100 kilos. It's an eight kilo jump. Yeah. That's a very significant jump here. I think we're pretty confident this would be an easy clean. Yeah. Well, if there's one thing with Julia, it's that you're not worried that she's going to get called for a press out. Yeah, absolutely. One well, of the famous last words. I'm sure there are people out there who are yelling at me right now for saying that. <laughs> There'll always be somebody yelling at you, Seb. There will. Fiddling with the... Well, we here. won't go into it, but that's happened since we've been here. We've had <laughs> a lot of raised voices. <laughs> For sure. Very nice. It's tough there on the jerk. Max just turned and gave me a stare as though that was somehow my fault because I mentioned that we'd never seen a press out. Well, I stand by that. He's sta <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you know, that I don't know. I will say that clean was a little bit off. Yeah. She landed on her toe. Yep. Heel was completely off the ground. Uh, not a strong position to be in. Um, yeah, for someone who cleans 105 to, to have 100 do that, certainly not reassuring. I don't know if you noticed anything about that jerk as well. It looked to me like... As she dip and drive, she really, she went back a lot. Yeah. Let's see the replay here. Did she ever lock out? Oh, no. I mean, for most lifters, that's a lockout, but for her, that's <laughs> but it's not easy when you know that you've just become the European champion to maintain that level of motivation to come and hit a lift that ultimately means very right. little by the way of right. at least medals. But she's going up again, 104 kilos. Looking at my records to see if this is going for anything. I mean, European senior records 112. It's a European standard. Nobody's yet hit it, so she's not looking for that. Maybe this is a a training record. Maybe she's done 103 kilos in the gym and never 104. That'd be my my first guess. Right. Giving herself a shot at a personal record clean and jerk here. So here we have 104 kilos the final lift of the 49 kilo A session. Yeah, and that, you know, it, we see that more yeah. often than not when someone makes a lift that wins them a championships and they go up, it's very difficult to make themselves yeah. go under it. It can be challenging to, uh, to keep going, you know, yeah. once you've crossed the finish line. It would be interesting to see the sort of uh, well, just sort of how she's feeling right now. Is she is she happy that she won? Or is she disappointed by what is essentially an underwhelming performance for her? I mean, the gold medal is the most important thing. It's really the only thing that matters. But she snatched, you know, six kilos below her best. She, she clean and jerked uh, nine kilos below her best. But she walks away with a gold, so. Yeah. Who knows?
Well, you know, a lot of that too comes comes down to how you prepare for this mentally. What do you what are your priorities as a lifter, as yep. a team, you and your coach working out your your strategy, your plan. If you show up to something like this and you've got an open ended plan and you end up in a situation like that, it can end up spiraling out of control and right. being, you know, what what appears to you to be a negative event. You yep. know, but if you come in with the expectation that your priorities are to win, which you did, yeah, you get your medals and everything on top of that is, you know, is the the icing on the cake, then you're fine if, if something doesn't go your way. Mm -hmm. Well, I've heard plenty of stories of you, Max, as a young coach, pulling athletes out of competitions after they <laughs> won, despite having more attempts, because uh, to quote, well, to quote those who said it, you know, the competition's about winning, not about what you hit. <laughs> I don't know if you can confirm or deny those, uh, those rumors, but I'm sure a lot of people listening know what I'm talking about. They've heard that too. <laughs>